You know that this is one of the best cameras I have ever had? Not because of the image quality, but because of the ease of use. I will tell you a lot about it in this video. You know, when I'm making a video in public, I don't want to have a lot of attention from other people because I feel kind of embarrassed, to be honest. But that's one of the things with this camera. I don't mind if I walk around with it on a selfie stick because of the way it looks. People don't recognize it as a camera and that's why I think they don't even care if I walk around with a stick in my hand. I mean, like when my wife and I were going on a cruise a couple of weeks ago, there was a guide in Rome walking around with a selfie stick with a hat on top of it. Why should anyone care about me walking around with an Insta360 on the end of a selfie stick? So for me, the way it looks makes it perfect because I dare to use it in public because people don't recognize it and people don't think it's a camera, so they don't care. Now for the next thing. How is the image quality? I'm gonna be completely honest with you and I gotta say, I'm not too impressed. I think the image quality is... It's okay, I guess, but it's a bit grainy and it's really... It has to be a lot of lights for this camera to work out. And I can see that when you're trying to make a linear image, you are kind of zooming a bit into the footage and it's, it's a bit off, in my opinion. I've been shooting in log and I put the sharpness to medium. I think I'll put it into low. And I'm not sure if log is the best way to go on this camera or if you should shoot in standard or vivid mode. I think the image quality is all over kind of okay, but I was hoping for a better image quality, to be honest. But I gotta say, I haven't been using this camera for more than the week I was going on a cruise, and I was shooting with some settings that I was finding on YouTube. I haven't tested it before I went on this cruise, so maybe it isn't fair for me to talk about the image quality, but this is my first impression, so stick with me. I'm so sorry, I just had to show you a feature on this camera. This is called the tiny planet feature. I'm not sure, but... <laughs> I cannot promise I, n I never use it again, but I don't think it will be too often. If you are making videos and like to put music on top of your videos, listen up. If you want to save 70% for your first year, Check out the link down below for audio.com and use the code SAVE70. What do you mean, why? Because you will only pay $59 for your first year on audio.com. Check it out. So why do I say that this is the best camera I've ever had? Because it's not completely true. The Sony CV-E1 is by far the best camera I've ever had. 
But this camera is the best camera for me when it comes to traveling because I will actually use it. If I am carrying the Sony CV-E1 or my Sony A7 IV, it will not be used. And to carry this around, it's so easy, you just put it in this protective pouch that comes along with the camera, take it off the selfie stick and you just put it in your pocket. And you don't have to think about it. If I'm carrying my Sony a7 IV, I'm clipping this onto my backpack that I have to carry because I have a lot of lenses maybe and blah blah blah. And it's... The image quality is much better on these cameras, of course. This... This is a 360 camera. It is what it is. And I can put it on this selfie stick that's one meter and I can put it in me mode and make a vlog. It has directional microphones, that's decent. And I can put it on a three meter selfie stick and make uh, these shots where it's filming from outside the ship. It's a fun camera, you can do a lot of things with this that you can't do with other cameras. And okay, the image quality isn't too good, but who cares? It will save some memories for you and it will... It, I think this will be a great companion on my travels in the future. I just gotta say, we had a really good time on our cruise, even though these clips showed something different. <laughs> we weren't running around with a selfie stick and just smiling all the time in case I want to... Anyways, I want to say thank you for watching all the way till the end, and if you haven't already, I hope you will subscribe to my channel so you can see my future videos as well. I would be re I would. I'm a Norwegian guy, I don't know how to speak English all the time, but I would be really happy if you subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Alright, bye. <laughs>